Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus Christ is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are a joyful people. And we are joyful because we are redeemed by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Through his cross and resurrection, he has freed us from sin and death. The opening prayer today, kindle the faith of people to grasp and fully understand the font that we were washed, the spirit we have been reborn, and whose blood through whom we have been redeemed. It's a good time as people of faith to pray that all of the grace and the faith gets stirred up within us in order to make a fire within us that we may have joy because we have our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. You might say, oh, Father, how can I be so joyful right now? I'm going through so much tough time. There's so much illness. There's so much going on in the world. Do you know what's happened in all of this? But I would still say, go forth with joy. That's what attracted the people to the early church. They were joyful and caring for one another. But we are joyful even when we are suffering. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to be reborn in us. You notice the Holy Spirit, the way it's, it's been introduced to us over the course of the last few celebrations. When Jesus died on the cross, The Gospel of John tells us the last thing that he did is he breathed over, handed over the Holy Spirit, and it came out. Who was there? John, the beloved disciple. And you notice John is the one who believes when when Jesus is raised from the dead. He he believes what happens. The Holy Spirit had fell upon him. It It was in that way. Jesus comes here again, and he breathes the Holy Spirit on the apostles that are there says, peace be with you, gives the Holy Spirit to them right there. Now, it's going to be revealed in a much more grand way on Pentecost, but here you see Jesus giving the Holy Spirit one person at a time. And how is it in our faith that we receive the Holy Spirit? Through Jesus Christ, when we're, when we're baptized, guess what? We are baptized into Christ, but we receive the Spirit there also, one person at a time. Let us, let us pray that we may renew our faith in, in Christ. Let us be joyful people so that, so that as we go out and profess the faith, it will be contagious and, and cause others to want to come and see what they're missing. 
when we stand here at the, at, the, at, the, at the altar and we consecrate the body and blood of Christ and we elevate it, what do we say? My Lord and my God, that profound testament of faith that Thomas has after he is, is breathed on that Holy Spirit. So as you, as you from your homes watch, the Holy, watch this Mass today, when we, when we elevate that host, say the words of Thomas with great faith, my Lord and my God.